Hello everyone, my name is Adam Vox, and welcome to my Epifan Pearl tutorial series. There will be six of these videos as far as I'm aware. This one will be covering the initial setup and configuration of the Pearl. Episode 2 will cover the backend administrative setup. Episode 3 will cover input management, configuring your inputs and setting up profiles. Episode 4 will cover video file management. Episode 5 will cover streaming to different streaming locations, mainly adapted for YouTuber and gamers for my intended audience. And then episode 6 will cover some more advanced streaming configuration. Setting up the Epifan Pearl for the first time is very simple. Simply hook up all of your audio and video inputs, your ethernet cable to your network connection, and turn on the power by pressing the power button in the back. Wait for it to fully boot up and give you an empty video input menu and you are ready to start using the touchscreen or mixing your video or setting up some profiles. If you wish to control the Pearl from a computer instead of the touchscreen, you can access the web UI by navigating to the IP address of the Epifan Pearl. If you don't know what the IP address assigned to it is, on the touchscreen, click the gear icon in the bottom right hand corner. Go to system status and it will tell you the IP address that it's currently assigned. In the next video, I'll show you how to set up a static IP. But for now, just go to that IP address in your web browser and the default login is just admin with no password. And then you're able to set up some configuration settings and do all of that from your computer. Using the touchscreen on the Pearl and live mixing video is fairly straightforward. You simply touch it. The bottom right hand gear icon is how you access your settings for the Pearl. The four squares together icon next to that if you're on a single video source viewing allows you to pull up all four video sources at once in a multicam viewing fashion and then you can simply touch one of the video sources to view it in the full screen. When you're in the full screen view you can also use the arrows or just simply tap to the right or the left of that preview to swap between video sources. There is a audio levels indicator in the bottom left hand corner. The text at the top indicates what the source's title is. By default it's just HDMI A or B, but you can name them within the web UI. And then to start recording, simply tap the little recording icon in the top right hand corner with the time code next to it. Same thing to stop recording. It is a fairly simple process, but there is a lot you can do with it once we get to more, the more advanced settings in future videos. I do hope you've enjoyed this introduction to my Epifan Pearl tutorial course. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, check the link in the description below for the playlist of all the other episodes, they should already be uploaded and in the playlist. They're just currently unlisted and will be released publicly staggered out over time. Subscribe for more awesome videos, and otherwise I will catch you in the next one.